Hi guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, today's going to be a quick project. We're going to use a little bit of excess pallet wood that we've got left over. Uh, we're going to make an outdoor plant. It's going to be a freestanding one on two little legs. Uh, but before we get started, I want to do a magic trick with you guys, if that's okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to predict your favourite YouTube channel. It might not be what you're expecting, but bear with me and I bet you this is right. Okay? What I want you to do is I want you to choose a number between 1 and 9. Okay, you got that number, and I want you to times that number by three. And add three again, and then multiply by three again. Now you should have a two digit number. Add those two digits together, it's going to give you one single number. I'm going to show you a list, and your answer is going to be your favourite YouTube channel. Here's the list. Did you get it? Did you get it? So I'm ready for the glue, I've labelled the boards 1 through 8 and this is your orientation. Okay, the first board has a flat surface on the left hand side and a bevel on the right. Number 2 board is the same. Number 3 board is a bevel on the left and a straight edge on the right. Number 4 board is the same. Number 5 board is straight edge with a bevel on the right. Six board is a straight edge with a bevel on the le on the right. Seven board, the bevel is on the left, straight edge on the right. And number eight board is a bevel on the left and a straight edge on the right. When it all glues up, it should make a bowl with the last two pieces being vertical. That's the plan. To do the glue up, I'm going to use regular um, exterior wood glue for this and I'm also going to put a couple of spots of CA glue in the middle and on the ends and that's just so that I can complete the project double quick and they'll act as a clamp while the other wood glue dries up. Um, and actually before I do any of that, I'm going to give it a sanding. To help with the glue up on this one, I put some painters tape, well, well, masking tape, on the other side of these pieces of wood. I've got three pieces there, and I've also got these long strips here, so that when it comes over, I can pull that across and clamp that just until the glue sets. <coughs> it's going to help me do it. <coughs> I tried doing it before freehand, didn't work. So let's uh, let's have another go, shall we? Okay, that's the four sections all glued up. Now I'm going to leave them overnight and we'll let the glue set up. Okay, let's check these boards out and let's see how they glued up overnight. Yeah, happy with that. They're solid enough. Okay. 
Okay, so the glue for those those two pieces is done. What I've done is I just put uh, the clamps on either side, not too much pressure, and then as I put some weight on, it's brought those boards down. It's brought them together. It's going to glue up. That's going to glue up really nicely, I think. So the only problem with that now <coughs> is I can't move it, and that means my table saw is now out of action. And I really wanted to move on to the legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare the wood for the legs. I'm going to run them through the surface plane and again, and you're going to join up one edge. And then I'm going to glue two boards to each one. I want these I want these legs to be a little bit thicker, so I'm going to glue them together like that. And then we're going to put some half lap joints into each to make a cross. And then the trough will the the planter will will drop down onto that cross, um, and then we'll we'll screw it down together. And hopefully that's going to make a nice little uh, nice little planter. So we're going to crack on with that now. So that's the glue up done guys, we're going to leave that now overnight. It did occur to me by jointing the edges on these boards before I did the glue, it was pointless because I'm going to have to do that again. Um, and I've got, I've only got a few clamps left, um, I do need to invest in a few more. So some tracing paper or baking paper, grease proof paper, whatever you guys call it in America, um, layered in between each set of boards should stop them being glued together. That's going to take a few hours to, to uh, to glue up, so I'm going to leave that again overnight. I'm going to call it another day, and I'm going to go in and watch the telly. Right, it's been 24 hours since we last did this. We've left this overnight to glue up. What we'll do is now we'll take off the weights and we'll see if that glue up has helped. Yeah, that's nice and solid. If those joints are quite tight, there's often a few bits here where it's a bit damaged, but mostly. That's a really nice tight join. Yeah, I'm pleased with that. So what we'll do tonight is we'll put on one of the other sides and we'll clamp that and leave that again. And then tomorrow night we'll clamp up the next one. This is a long glue up this one guys, I tell you. Okay, so I've got the half laps done. Um, fairly happy with them. Um, this one's a little bit loose. No biggie though. I'm not after perfection. It is only a palatable plant at the end of the day. I am not making fine furniture. So if it's a little bit sloppy, no biggie. Now I'm going to drive a couple of screws in here now. No glue because I want. I don't want this to be permanent just yet. 
the shape of the bowl is, is a bowl and this is a V so that bowl isn't going to sit in there properly so I'm going to have to make a couple of notches in there in a minute but I'm going to secure these together first and then we'll see what shape we need to cut out so I'm just going to get me square Anyway, uh, so to finish this, I am going to put on some linseed oil. Um, I'm not, I was thinking about putting a stain on it and then varnishing it, but my project manager, she wants uh, it in a natural finish. So we're just going to put some linseed oil on it. That's just going to help protect it. It should stop the bud going grey. So we're just going to put a couple of lashes of that on now. Right, that's it thanks guys thanks very much for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed the video we're really pleased with the plans it turned out really well hope that's going to last now for a couple of years anyway it should do anyway thanks for watching take care and I'll see you on the next one from the pair of us bye